Elena Black from Chicago returned to action in June, but then suffered a, a torn MCL. So really had to maybe uh, had to make someone of a deal with the devil to come back this quickly. Impressive. Leg Larry dropping all the weight down. There's, we can't even get a second to breathe here to call this action. Guys, it has been nonstop. And you can see Heather Monroe on the outside in anguish. That, uh, that high impact move there taking its toll. Elena Black's gonna need to be careful out here because another card that she hasn't been thinking about is the Joker in House and Body in Heather Monroe's corner. You never know what's gonna happen with that wild card. That's a great point. And you know, Blake mentioned it earlier. Maybe some uh, some jet lag and stuff here for Heather, as, as Blake mentioned, wrestled for Shimmer over the weekend out in Indianapolis as part of the collective. Got a victory, did the Keller Bay over Layla Hirsch. But the travel, the competition, they're right back here to live action. It's got to take its toll eventually, guys. As they say, it's not the years, it's the mileage. But, you know, Elena Black, she's been putting in the miles herself, coming out from Chicago, making her California debut. Any sort of butterflies coming to play there. It's big time stuff on Primetime Live. I think something to keep in mind, though, is we're seeing a slower start out of Heather Monroe. Oh! Austin getting involved. You talk about that the was Joker. That was that card. Yeah, playing that card. Legal in this deck. Double stomp by the Killer Bay taking over control of this matchup. Man, what great women's division action we've had throughout the weeks. As the Killer Bay goes for the cover, we look back to the likes of Thunder Rosa defending the NWA Women's World Championship against Priscilla Kelly, Allison Kay, Nicole Savoy, Ruby Rays, Lacey Ryan, Cece Chanel. It's just been a fixture. And now the Killer Bay making her pay the price. Something interesting about this submission is they're in the dead center of the ring. It is gonna be very hard for Elena to get out of this unless Heather lets her out. She's not getting to the ropes anytime soon. What an interesting submission hold she has here. But putting the weight back on the shoulders, comes up with a pin attempt, does the Sorceress of Sin. We've seen a little bit of damage on Elena Black's elbow. You saw her holding it there. Elena Black, you talked about high profile matches as well. You can see her on AEW Dark. Uh, a lot of people in lots of did it, did some time traveling. A lot of people doing their best Rick Rude impression these days. But we're live, live, live here on Primetime Live. Yeah, Heather Rose doing a fantastic job of keeping Elena Black in the corner. She's done this now in both corners, and she's just got her there, stuck in, absorbing damage. Elena Black has got to do something to get out of this danger zone. Yeah. Otherwise, she's going to keep taking big shots like that one from Heather Monroe. Wow. Nowhere to go but down in the corner there, James. That, is that series Elena of moves. Elena needs to find the exit cover. Ah. Able to kick out. Elena needs to find an exit to uh, get her bearings and get back on track in this matchup. One thing that we haven't seen Heather Monroe trying to exploit that MC CL injury of Elena Black. That's something that might come into play later on in this match. I'm actually surprised that she has it. She is a type of competitor that will look for any weak link in the chain that she can find. And we know that if that knee's been recently injured, that's definitely one of Elena's weak links. Snap mayor takedown there by Heather Monroe. Tries to get the full court press. Senton, don't often see that from the Keller Bay. But We're seeing Heather do a good job of slowly chipping away at Elena Black. She's not doing anything crazy drastic. Oh, submission hold. You called for it. Might be working on those lower extremities now. And MCL going to be put to the test here. Ooh, double jeopardy there. So her, her knees slipped out of the submission a little bit, and she took that stomp to the, right down into the mat. That was brutal. Into the cover. And Heather Monroe has taken over the time of possession offensively in this matchup, James. You know, what do you think in your estimation that Black can do to get this thing rolling her way again? Like I said, I think she needs to find a way to take a breather. There's a clothesline. That'll buy her some time. But the trouble is, as Blake mentioned, the Joker outside, there's no real place for her to go where she's not going to be assailed on all sides. And then you see that knee colliding with the turnbuckle. Heather Monroe, boy, that knee has got a, has got a bullseye on it now, Blake. Yeah, and that was an accident right there where she did that flying knee the turnbuckle on a pin. Man, Heather's starting to get closer on these pins. The first two are quick one count kickouts, but you're starting to see some damage accumulate on Elena Black. I'm sure Blake knows this better than anyone, but when you have an injury like that, your confidence comes into play. You can think it's better, and then, but when you're, you're in the deep water here, maybe some doubts creep in. So that's a big aspect of rehabilitation. This part of it is getting it physically back and ready to work, and the other part is believing that it's back working. Elena's in there doing work, but now that we're starting to see some damage on the knee, maybe she's gonna start questioning it. We just gotta watch and find out. I asked her in the back, you know, when she mentioned that injury to me, I asked her how it's holding up, how she's feeling. 
if it's 100%, she said, as the cards dictate, yes, it is. But three or four months, a pretty quick turnaround time to uh, recuperate from a uh, knee injury like that. But nice snap to that kick. It's definitely extremely quick. That's why you gotta wonder if she made some type of deal with the devil. <laughs> well, look at this. Getting sent to hell right now is Heather Monroe in this octopus stretch. Nowhere to go. Second time, as you mentioned, dead center in the ring, but turns it into a sidewalk slam, physical counter. But look at the pain on the face of both. This has been one heck of a war. Heather found a beautiful way to get herself out of that. I didn't know where she needed to go from there, but she knew she needed to get out, and she found a slam and put Elena Black on her back. Back and forth, seesaw action. As we've seen, some of the greatest competitors in all of the women's divisions in pro wrestling coming right here to primetime line. Transition to strikes, looking for that big underhook DDT, calls it the fade to Black. Heather Moreau was wise to it. Heather Monroe perhaps looking for a dra dragon suplex. And now, well, to a dragon sleeper. Drives her down. Does Elena Black in a close call. That hand was coming down. You can see there, uh, breathing a sigh of relief. He needs that fan in double time, does Halston. Yeah, Halston body looked like his heart was about to stop in his chest, that maybe those cards were the roadmap. Uh, for Elena Black here, but I gotta give Heather Monroe credit. She hasn't been intimidated by those mind games, but here she is in the passenger seat of Elena Black. She's fighting out of it, though. Nice counter yet again. It's been back and forth, lots of great counters. There it is, Dragon Suplex. Another big wrinkle in the offensive playbook of Heather Monroe goes for the cover. Looking to put away, is it enough? Not yet. That counter was fantastic. You started to see Elena Black getting a little bit of comfortable. Started to get control of the match again, only to get countered and suplexed on her head. I would think we you know, mentioned the NWA World's Women's title was defended weeks ago. The FSW Women's title, and here we go. Inside Cradle, how close was that? And we found out that very soon there will be a United Wrestling Network Women's Championship. That recently announced on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. So the competitors jockeying for position. Big knee there by Elena Black. Halston body on the apron here, James. Click paying big dividends. Elena Black could have gone for the cover. She might have had this match won if not for Halston body. I wonder if she saw this in the cards. As I see it, no. Looking for the bad Pichi Noku driver. And Elena Black is out. Monroe gets the win. Here is your winner, Heather Monroe. Back to her winning ways, the Killer Bay. Heather Monroe, she was called the fool by Elena Black coming in. She's leaving the Queen of Swords tonight on Primetime Live. And it's all thanks to that Joker next to her. <laughs>